Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will see that how we can call our API and fetch the data with the API. So guys, if you don't know what is the API, then I already make a video on this topic. Link is given in the description box. You can just check out this video. After watching this video, the old doubts about the API will be clear. Like what is the API, why we have to use it, how we can make it, how we can consume it, how, can, how we can uh call it and, and what are the methods of the api and why we use the methods in the api everything all right so now let's start or oh, continue with this video so these are some points of this video first of all we have to install the axios and the vue.js package and i will show you that how we can install and uh, after that we have to make a component and we have to uh, call the api in the uh, lifecycle method named with mounted then uh, data will be fetched and the fetched data uh, we will show in a list and we will use a v4 to show in this data and this is the api url here you can see that if i am just going to run it in the browser then you can see that we got the data like this right so this is a json format we will just make a html populated list with that so now uh, first of all let's uh, open a terminal and just install npm install axios and the second one is view axios and just install them so it will just take a 30 to 40 second within that time i am just going to make a new file and this will be our new component so just put a name of employee list right and just make it extension with the view right and here you know that we have to make a small template and uh, then we just have to add the script tag so this is the basic format to making a component and this is a very common for every every component all right so the name can be employee list and h1 tag let's put the employee list like this also so you can see that the package is also, also installed. Now let's call this uh, component to our main component, which is app.view. So just fetch it, import component list from component and employee list. Now just register this component here inside the component object and let's call it and let's check out the browser output here you can see that we got the employee list so i am just going to remove the first one h1 tag i don't need it now let's come to the employee.view file and here we have to import the three things first of all let's import the view import view from view package then uh, we have to import the two more import uh, axios from axios package right and at the last import uh, view axios um, from View Axios package. There is something wrong. Yes, actually, I have to use the semicolon, not the column. So that's why it's just give me the error and uh, let's make it correct. Now, just uh, bind these two package with the view. Just use here view dot use and uh, just write here view Axios and then the second parameter will be Axios that's great now i am just going to define here mount this is the lifecycle method and it will call when our component is ready to uh, fetch the data or you can say that our html is rendered in the browser right so here you can just use here view dot uh, get view dot axios dot get and here we can pass the url which is uh, the API URL actually. So just copy it and paste it, right? 
and uh, then we can just simply use here dot then right so just use dot then and as you know dot then is a promise so that uh, we can just simply call a callback function and the parameter name can be resp or response whatever you just want to put here let's make a console dot warn of the rest and let's see what we are getting in the API so let's open the console and let's see uh, okay so we got some error let me check yep actually I just put forget to put here edge edge that's why we can refresh it and here you can see that we got the data status is 200 status text okay everything is great and we have to go inside the data and then data again so just right here data and data now we will get the employee list here here our employee list so we have around 24 employees all right so now let's render this json inside the html list so i am just going to define a property so just use here data method and just we have to return a property here a return and property name can be anything i am just going to make it list by default this is undefined and now just put this all data in this uh, property which is the resp dot data dot data that's great and here I am just going to make a table and in this table let's take a tr with td 1 2 and 3 and uh, here let's put the name salary and age of employee oh my bad age of employee right so now what we are seeing here so this is a header and uh, i am just going to make a little bit border of this table border can be one pixel yeah this is not a good way to style and this is not a beautiful style but we are focusing on uh, fetching the api data so we can ignore the style for a moment all right so now let's take one or because this is the for the header and uh, this tr will uh, provide a loop to us so just use here v4 and here just use item in list so this variable is here all right so here just use here v bind key and just find a key keyword and just uh, use here key item dot id alright so now you will see that we got the many copies of name and salary and is so now let's uh, just replace it with uh, uh, item dot employee underscore name I think this is the keyword no let me check what is the keyword okay this is the employee name what I made wrong okay I just misspell it now as you can see that name are rendered so now if you just want to just put the salary here then you can just simply write here item dot employee salary and with the same way you can also just write here item dot employee page so here we have a complete list for all users all employees sorry so I know this is not looking as much good uh, in the modern UI but uh, as you know we are focusing on a, a API call not on the style that's why you can manage it so thanks for watching this video and please 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 subscribe my channel if you still have any kind of confusion then you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care